Hello, hello, good afternoon in UK or oh, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world because we got different time in different places in the whole planet. So happy Sunday, everybody. I am now officially back. I've been off and on online because I've got so many things that was making me too busy. So now today is another Sunday. First of all, a very big thank you to God Almighty for this wonderful day, Sunday. Another wonderful Sunday that the Lord has made. Also, today I have to come here to also thank God for making it possible for me to sit down here and even talking because I've been having so much of sinus attack, sinuses, very horrible kind of something that can drive you crazy. Headaches, all these points in your face, all the cavities, when it starts, it will just go round and round. So when the weather is changing, all the pollens, all the allergies will start and then cold will trigger it. So this is how it is. But for me, I'm so happy that I'm still <laughs> able to keep going and I thank God for the support and also thanks to my hobby for providing and taking care of me when I was having sinuses attack. But that is not a problem. I am back. So now my head is right because I was having all those congestion and also I don't understand how to say it but it was so horrible pains so everything went into one congestion and stiff neck and pains and all sort of things so now there is no more problem I'm happy I'm back again so today we're going to also give a wonderful thank you to all my subscribers and anybody that is watching my program for cheering me up for giving me that encouragement also and also for supporting this channel thank you very much i am now going to share a bit of scripture about what we have to pass through in life in life what and how we can cope with it because this is just a kind of thoughts to ponder about so I'm going to share it with you that sometimes in life oh by the way we are now 22,000 subscribers so far I am so happy that has made my day thank you for all your wonderful work um not really very sure but it looks like that or 21.2 but let's see how it goes so i've been <laughs> dancing to boost my energy level so don't forget to continue to watch my short videos about dancing and gospel dancing and also inspirational dance so i'm not a good dancer but sometimes i just come up and dance and also help with my keep fit exercise as well so i'm just going to talk about things about life so sometimes in life all we need is a reminder a little reminder of how god need us to press on to carry on through highest times highest times like difficulties times times that you feel that you are being mocked or hurt or shame none of this is our heavenly father's plan so oh sorry about that it's just this sky news coming in sorry so this is not the plan of god for us to be in a situation where we feel ashamed of who you we are or we feel intimidated in any kind of things we do so God is giving us reassurance that we shouldn't be afraid so so it's not 
none of this is from God. So mind you, rather than, rather the enemy of our soul is using all those things to intimidate us, to make us feel bad or low about ourselves. This is nothing to do with us. So we have to choose and the way we respond to all this. So there will always be a lot of stone throwers among the crowd of every camp and faith community. So there will always be people like that. They will throw stones on you, in, not really stones, but they will use their mouth to make you feel unworthy of yourself. So amongst the crowd, there's always a stone thrower. So you, all we have to do, we have to keep on moving towards with the faith in the purpose and the plan God has given us. So we know, God says he knows the plan he planned for us, plan to keep us safe and not plan to harm us, plan to protect us and our, in our future as well. So in this aspect, we don't need to respond to everything that we hear or see because it is part of what the devil is using to distract us from achieving our purpose in life. So, so what we have to do is to keep calm and also let God take control of the situation. So by keeping moving and we must keep we have to take every steps of faith even though they might not they might be too small for us as if you see when people are hunting to kill or hunting in the forest like hunters so it is not how much they can shoot it's how much they focus and aim at the target of what they want to shoot. So this is how we are. When we are walking in the path of life, we have to keep our head, our mind. We, we have to focus and we have to look unto God who helps us to understand this wicked world is full of people that can make you feel uncomfortable. So, so many Many of us know this. When we say keep moving, keep going, it's not a matter of still or standing still in one place. It's a matter of moving forward in life. When we say keep moving, we don't say moving backward. We move forward to see what is going on, to see our potentials, to achieve what we want to achieve in life. So. Moving is a target as well. If you don't move, you can't target anything. So once you move, your mind is on a certain thing. You are going to focus on it. You're going to achieve your goals in life. So let us not quit the trip at this junction. When we got stuck with people throwing stones on you, mocking you about showing you a kind of way that you don't understand instead of you to get stuck in that situation once you start moving god is there to guide your steps and make a way for you so however whatever they say and whatever they do do not quit instead use those stones that are being thrown on you to build an empire to be, set up a, a stepping stone for yourself a, a stone that you can stand and you will not fall over. So that is the, uh, the, the meaning of getting focus and taking control of your life. So that criticism, anything they say against you, uh, about you, you can take it and make sure you learn a lesson from it and move on with your life. So, so rather that like, uh, you know, in, rather than people using, insulting you and making you feel bad, use that stone, that insulting stone, stone and make a way for yourself because you cannot throw them back. 
rather you use every stone to build a mighty testimony or an empire of God's truth and everything will be around you so also in truth the more people will talk about you you need to also use that opportunity to glorify God okay sorry to glorify God and also let them know that the word of God is truth and other things is secondary so the more you glorify and edify the mighty God the more we have joy the more we have grace and peace and no time for you to say I'm going to retaliate or going to pay and uh, fight back there's nothing like that because once you have peace in your heart and your mind when you glorify God God will also make that chance to make you happy so don't let any negative or toxic words stop you from rejoicing or smiling or having celebrating your victory because as we build in rejoicing we also build in victory and also we remember also to spread the good news and also take care of others who are also struggling in life we also have to be there for them and also give them the hope that we know so we yeah we must also go through a lot of challenges as well in life for us to have enough testimony and also to inspire other people in this world so we have to build up others as well because God is giving you that chance to learn from hardship to learn from any problem in your life so that you can also use that testimony to inspire other people in this world and also we don't have that time to seek for revenge because sorry this devil is jumping God has already prepared you for your destiny God knew your purpose in this world so all we have to do is keep calm and rejoice in the Lord and also let go the past and look forward in the future and also we also have duty and responsibility to continue to praise God and also rejoice in the Lord and give him thanks in everything he's done in our life so thank you everybody for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to Mrs. Always Right channel and have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you all. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And bye.